At, once you have the new gun, you can re-gift this one. No, no, I'm keeping this. Ain't nobody getting this thing. This is mine. Of course. This is this is mine now. E gun dragon, top of your horde of gun pilot guns. Exactly. Back to the house. It is it is funny to me that this optic is the one that's on this gun though, because this is the Trigicon SRS, mm -hmm. which is widely regarded as a complete failure of an optic. It's not good. It's not It's not bad, but it definitely isn't good. So it's funny that it's on the G11 because they're both obsolete. <laughs> so this is the standard sight that would be on the G11. Let me see. Ah. It's a weird carry handle. Oh, that's like the weird prototype one. Ooh. Oh, it's good. Okay, maybe I can make it all prototype stuff. And we're going to take the compensator off because the original G11 does not have... That's what the original G11 looks like. <laughs> it doesn't flat. have it. It's just flat on the end of it. It doesn't have anything. It, it really does look like a brick, though. Yeah, I, I see. You can make it look less like a brick by putting on... Oh, a suppressor, a smaller Ooh, brick. Yeah, I don't think... You can put, put a another brick, brick on your brick. For just a second, we're going to put it on burst because one of the other features of the G11 was its absolutely bonkers fire rate. It gets a bad rap, but I like cram. Probably because my grandpa used to cook it and tell us it was ribeye steak. Every time we ate it, I felt like a king. That's funny that you could give it like a bake light for- Oh my god, that's actually hilarious. But Cryptic looks pretty good in my opinion. I, yeah. That's not a good camo. I, I, who needs camo when you got style? <laughs> wood. <laughs> <laughs> if you actually had a G11 made of wood, that'd be really funny. Um, okay. So, I just put it on burst mode. One of the things that's really goofy about the G11... Oh, that's funny. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this optic, but... Yup, it does it! It actually does- okay. A single burst! That was three round burst at once? The G11 fires three rounds per millisecond! 2,100 rounds per minute. Which is roughly 30-something rounds a second. <laughs> that is the three round burst. That's how you end up with a three round burst that sounds like this. It doesn't sound like a burst. It nope. sounds like a single shot. The way that works is the entire barrel and breech mechanism, when it fires the first round, that whole thing recoils backwards, and as it is recoiling backwards, it fires the first, second, and then third round, and then it contacts the back of the receiver. Wow. That is magic, all right. Kind of like how the AN-94, it fires, and as it's firing, the entire barrel and breech mechanism move backwards as it's firing, so it fires a first and then a second round. Meaning that you get three rounds out of the gun before the recoil from the first round has actually hit the shooter's shoulder. The problem with that is it's, you need an incredibly complicated mechanism to keep that up. And you can only get three rounds out of it. If you put this gun on full auto, it does three round burst, and then every round after that goes down to about 460 rounds per minute. Mm. So it's bip, 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 bip. Huh, all right. The reason, the reason for doing that massive like fire rate was at the time when this was designed in the in the 80s, they wanted to increase the hit probability of the average soldier because they they kind of they they did a whole lot of looking at combat analysis and they realized you have a very very short window of time if you are a soldier. If I'm a soldier and I'm shooting at uh, another soldier, let's say that that stump is a soldier, I have a very limited period of time between when he gets up to run from cover to cover. Mm. So run from here to over there. Sure. I have a very short period of time in which that I can hit that soldier. And if you can find a way to make your gun fire more bullets, you're going to increase the amount of the, the hit probability. I suppose. So they ended up coming up with a bunch of different things. That's part of what the spew program was, which was, I think, in the 70s. Because they wanted the guns to spew bullets. You ended up with like weird things like fl guns that fired multiple flechettes. Or you ended up with uh, another thing that was duplex rounds, where you stacked two or three bullets on top of each other inside the gun, so that when you fired it, they came out and went into a little shotgun pattern. Mm -hmm. It was a whole lot of research that ultimately led to absolutely nothing. Uh, it, it did, n none of it really worked very well. It was an interesting concept. And that's why this gun has that three round burst feature that's, you fire three rounds so freaking fast. Yeah. And I love how this gun looks. It's just a brick. It's a bit silly, all right. It's very silly. I'm probably gonna take this, I know it's sacrilegious to take this optic off of the G11, but like, honestly, it's it's. I, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Raiders can come kill me anytime. Jokes on them. I'm already dead inside. <laughs> hey! 
I'll use this optic for a minute. Again, this is another optic I really like, but it kind of sucks because the battery is a really weird proprietary one that you actually cannot remove as the consumer. You have to send it back to Aimpoint to have them replace the battery. That's pretty lame. Which is why they don't make this optic anymore. Ah, take that Aimpoint, you and your bullshit PSP Vita memory sticks. All right, off we go to, uh... To find the other gun. To find the other gun, yes, for my the, my next Christmas present. This will be an excellent Christmas for me. I got a nice little spreadsheet going that lists the half-life of common isotopes. Should come in real handy, provided you know my system for reading it. That's what. That's why scientists use standards. <laughs> that's why they have a standard. All right. To the Wilson Automatoys factory. I got. Oh my God. So now I have. Now I have. Two of my dream guns that I will never actually be able to get in real life. You have a lot of dream guns. I have an MP7 and a G11. Two of my holy grail guns, which I will never get in real life. Never, ever, 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 ever. Nope. You know what's really funny? Do tell. There's a list of prohibited weapons that you're not allowed to own in Canada. Okay. The G11 is on that list. There are maybe a thousand G11s that exist in the entire world. And they're probably all in Germany. <laughs> It would be like if there was a list of prohibited cars. Oh yeah, you can't own the DeLorean from from Back to the Future. And it's like, yeah, no shit, I can't own that. There's one. I, there might be more than one, but whatever. Shit, what did that building just burst into flames over there? No, it's a, it's a it's a helicopter. Jeez, I was gonna make a joke about uh, for my my apartment forbidding me to own a pet T-Rex, but I got distracted by that thing bursting into flames. It would be like if your apartment complex said, oh yeah, you're not allowed to own a T-Rex. Oh my god, this thing! How you, how you doing? You doing alright? <laughs> what are you doing? He's having a good time! He's just, he's just he's, grooving. He's driving, he's driving. Oh my god! <laughs> it would be pretty funny. Pop goes the weasel! Are you guys just gonna leave him here? <laughs> he's, I mean, you're gonna try. Oh, leave no one behind, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go take this thing back in for repairs! Two seven. we are at Bingo Fuel, we are out. What are you even you what weapon are you using? Oh. A shotgun. Your, your shotgun is horribly broken. <laughs> okay. Uh dead gunner private. I oh, will take that inertial shotgun. McCready, you just use whatever you find on the ground, don't you? You just love using garbage guns. He's a scaver. Beep beep. Oh, that's a no what the Jack in the box? <laughs> Custom what paint job. <laughs> this one might be for you. Do you think it goes do 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 when you reload it? I doubt it. You found the legendary. There are three more Ooh. hidden somewhere in this location where shiny white weapons are tested. Ooh. A defense contractor that specializes in jet propulsion technology. Ooh. And a place where you'd go for medicine, your own little den. It's the medicine den in, in uh, Good Neighbor, right? Oh, yeah, maybe. So a defense contractor that specializes in jet propulsion technology. I think that might be ArcJet Laboratories. Okay, let's follow up on some of these leads. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's a cute lunchbox. I like that little character. Look at him. He's fun. What's inside? Ah! <laughs> How did it all fit in there? It's, uh, it's like one of those flotation devices. You pull the ripcord, they all inflate. Oh, oh no, they're phased inside <laughs> of each other. Arcjet, I feel like, okay, so we need to go to... Well, we know where Good Neighbor is. We can go with that one first. Okay, yeah, we'll go to Good Neighbor first. Wow, this place is a shite hole. And here I'm... I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. You've barely scratched the surface of this city. Very rude to make snap judgments. It's quite nice here, all right, Cleo, Cleo. I've hey. got a weapon here for every situation. Oh yeah, one of the other goofy things about this site is it has iron sights built into the top of it. That's not unusual. There's a lot of red dot optics that do that, especially when they're quite big. It's not unused, you will to have iron sights. You're right. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, she's got a G11 now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's like, I, man, the moment I get one, I think I'm special, and then suddenly everybody's got one. The G11 is one of those things that, like, I straight up might just buy an airsoft one. Mm. Who is this guy right here? <laughs> oh, looks like a new face. Welcome to Jack's Crap. Do you want to buy <laughs> some of my crap? <laughs> I do like crap. 
How much for the road cone? Not for sale, especially it. Very well. All right. Well. So, the uh, memory den. Do you think it's the memory? Because it's not really drugs in the memory the den. The memory den has Dr. Amari's lab, though, where she does medicine. Oh, uh, okay. If you're trying to impress wow. me, it's not going to work. Wow. That doesn't leave much to the imagination now, does it? Mm -mm, no, it doesn't. Me running around in my tidy whities Dr. Amari! Dr. Amari! Dr. Amari, Dr. Amari. Irma's terminal password, I guess you can grab that. Oh! Oh! I want that ball! Ooh, I want that pinup card! You want that ball? I want it. You want that ball? I want it. <laughs> what? What else has the word den in it in Fallout 4? Well, there's an unmarked location called Drug Den, but I don't... Oh, maybe it's that, then. Is that a person? Mannequin. No, I think that's actually a person. Oh, you got it. I was wrong. Oh, I missed my three-run first! I like how the magazine goes into the gun when you do that! <laughs> No one pants. They're guarding. Oh, ah. that's the guy as our team. Hi, Tony. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna be sick. Mike, welcome to the drug den. Let's not waste any time. Let's start no doing drugs. Hey. You just hey. I mean, Kate heard you. Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> We've got to do this more often. Get ambushed? Sure. Yeah. No way. I'm not going down there. That guy's got a fucking G11. You could have a G11 too. What? And the Ricardo's Revenge. Oh lord. They've got some kind of drill bit on the top. That magazine is goofy. You do more damage when naked. Hey! <laughs> oh yeah, Armored or, Ricardo's Battle Thong. Or when wearing the Battle Thong. Oh hey, and there's his bandana. All right. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't really work. It's going over the boxers. It doesn't really work, but you know what? It's 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 uh, it's it's doing its it's doing its best. I'm I'm sorry, Eli. <laughs> you know, I don't want to say I'm sorry to do this to you because it is pretty fucking funny. You also got to give him uh, the Ricardo's gun. No, I want to use it. Use your other. Okay, fine. I want to see if it does something specific. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, I need one more, I need one more. Come on. <laughs> it's way too loud. <laughs> that won't get old at all. That was, there we go, we got, we got the weapon now. Got, we got one down, so let's get the next one, which is, I'm pretty sure, at ArcJet Systems. Okie dokie. Oh, you got Zeke's jacket and jeans, and maybe Kate wants to try those on. Maybe she'd look good in those. Kate. Quit stalling. I need you to help me. Please. Oh. All right. What's the matter? Everything is the matter. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back, because I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. Oh, she needs it now. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. She's got a fever. And the only cure is more Zack. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't this is, stop. This is ridiculous. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. Ugh. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Is that really the psycho's fault? This could be a case of misattribution. Correlation does not imply causation. Yeah, but you know, if you're just constantly huffing psycho and then you're coughing up blood, it might be related. Maybe your lungs... <laughs> Sorry, I was going to make a dirty joke. Never mind. Tell me how we can help. There might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. Vault Tech helping people? 
I don't think that's true. Sounds like a baseless rumor. See that? All right, yeah, we'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie, a stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Yeah, we will 100% we will do that just as soon as I get him to do the Ricardo dance and we find another G11. I feel like if you want to quit your addiction, maybe don't hope for a magic bullet. Maybe put in the work of getting over your addiction. A lot of people struggle. I mean, she's been struggling with it, though. That's the, that's the thing. I'm guessing that Psycho is probably very, very addictive. And very, very not good for you. You sure? Yeah. I mean, it's like it took me a long fucking time to quit smoking. Not yeah. that that's the same thing as Psycho. I suppose that you would gladly skip the arduous journey of overcoming your addiction if you could be plugged into a machine that helped you. Yeah. I also might argue that using an e-cigarette kind of was the plugging myself into a machine. Mm. Hello, Crow. To quit smoking. It was a transitory period. Yeah. The existence of a machine that cures addiction is problematic because... At that point, why not do all the drugs you want? You can't become addicted, and if you do, you can purge it immediately. Oh, I don't think it's I don't think it's problematic. We've but... been through here. This is yeah, the area we... where dance killed robots. Yes, dance killed a lot of robots, and we just kind of watched. And maybe I did stuff. I can't really remember. He puts on the he like the the helmet like appears on him when he goes into what would be combat. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that elevator was gonna work. <laughs> okay. That's. If it, even if it turned on and went ding, would you want to stay on it? Nope. Super wouldn't. Astounding stories. Smothered seas in the strange city. Let's inject some ketchup. The red big pen. I don't know. What? <laughs> I think it's a windmill, man. <laughs> More dead synths. Another, oh, another playing card. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Not now. I'm trying to get my fuck on. <laughs> Does that belong to the Western series or the Nudie series? Maybe both. Bill, I thought you were going to bring me in here to show me your cool revolver. Look, here it is, baby. Look at this cool revolver. Oh, my God, it is cool. Boardrooms and stuff? I, I would guess. Board so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Oh, this one's called Crown Space Magic. <laughs> well, there you go. There, You found it, found it. Who put a Barrett M82 muzzle brake on there? Will robots rule the world? If not, they'll dress fancy regardless. Oh, it's a laser gun version. Ooh. Neato. Not well, as fun, but still pretty sleek. Marvelous, we're home. Merry Christmas, Zach. Here's a G11. This is the best Christmas ever. Thanks, Zach. What a wonderful gift. It would be handy, sure. We, uh, there, was, there was one day, this is a while ago. There was one day I was working. I was sitting in the firing range and this girl came in and she was, let's say, generously proportioned in the chest. Okay. Puberty had been inordinately kind to her. She got some built-in recoil dampeners. I see that the president had armed his daughter with ballistics as well. We got it. She got tits. Yeah. And she was like, I want to shoot my AR-15. She had an AR with her. And she didn't have an optic on it. Mm hmm We have a standard of not letting people shoot guns that don't have fucking sights on them. Well, can't she just use the iron sights? There weren't any sights on it. It was just a rail. There were, there was, it was just like this. There's oh. no sighting system on this gun. Oh, okay. And I was like, okay, if you want to shoot it like once or twice, I'm, I'm talking about literally three rounds to make sure that the gun cycles and locks open on an empty magazine. That's fine. We can do that. But we can't let you shoot here and test out your fire but we can't accuracy. Let, we can't let you fire multiple rounds because you don't have optics on there, so you might just end up hitting the ceiling or the wall or something else because most people, when they don't have optics on their gun, don't know how to keep it pointed in the correct direction so that it <laughs> actually... They fail to meet the bare minimum of competency. She's so She had a button-up shirt on and a relatively low-cut tank top and she's like are you sure and like <laughs> puffing her chest out at me and i'm like yeah i'm sure you can't shoot it unless you have sights on there and she got like really mad and did like huffed at me and then like pulled her shirt closed and turned around <laughs> like well i'm not gonna let you look at my tits anymore and i'm like jokes on you i don't give a fuck <laughs> what's the glowing blue there uh that's my pit boy jeez all right because i don't have the the shoulder oh, lamp on anymore. Makes sense. Makes that's, sense. That's 
like honestly, that's the main reason I install that shoulder lamp. Not because it's from Aliens. It's because it's actually a good shoulder lamp. Yeah, as opposed to the normal Pip-Boy lamp at Fallout, which is just a lamp. Yeah.